In this podcast episode, Dr. Tara Swart, a neuroscientist, medical doctor, executive advisor, and best-selling author, discusses the fascinating topic of stress and its impact on the brain and body. She shares insights on how stress can be contagious, the role of cortisol in stress, and the connection between stress and belly fat. Dr. Swart begins by discussing an experiment conducted on weightlifters who visualized themselves lifting weights instead of actually lifting weights for two weeks. Surprisingly, these weightlifters experienced a 13% increase in muscle mass. This experiment highlights the potential of the brain and the power of visualization. She then delves into the concept of stress contagion, explaining that cortisol, the main stress hormone, can leak out of our sweat and impact those around us. This phenomenon occurs as a survival mechanism, helping us store fat around our abdomen. Dr. Swart emphasizes that stress can cause belly fat that is difficult to shift. Furthermore, she explores the idea of social contagion, explaining that people tend to meet others who are at a similar psychological level. For example, if someone gets divorced, they are more likely to get divorced in the next year. Dr. Swart also mentions that our growing brain can play tricks on us, and from the ages of 25 to 65, intense activities that force the brain to change can improve its highest functions. Dr. Swart then addresses the existing preconceptions about the brain and human potential that her work confronts. She highlights the lack of understanding of the brain-body connection among high-performing executives, who often neglect their physical health while focusing solely on their mental capabilities. She emphasizes the importance of sleep, diet, hydration, exercise, and stress management in creating the best conditions for the brain to operate effectively. She shares an anecdote about working with a bank during the financial crisis, where people were experiencing heart attacks on the trading floor. Dr. Swart realized that addressing the physical health issues alone would not be sufficient, as the mental and emotional aspects were the root causes. She emphasizes the need to address stress and its impact on the body and brain. When asked about practical steps to prevent stress-related health issues, Dr. Swart explains that stress occurs when the perceived load on an individual is too much to bear. She suggests physical exercise as a way to sweat out excess cortisol and journaling or speaking to a therapist or trusted friend to release negative thoughts associated with stress. The conversation then shifts to the importance of sleep for the brain and stress management. Dr. Swart explains that sleep is crucial for memory consolidation, emotional processing, and cellular regeneration. She discusses the glymphatic system, a newly discovered system in the brain that actively cleanses toxins during sleep. She emphasizes the need for 8 to 9 hours of sleep to allow this cleaning process to occur fully. The podcast also touches on the topic of co-sleeping and its impact on bonding and oxytocin release. Dr. Swart encourages co-sleeping as a way to enhance bonding, physical warmth, and skin-to-skin -skin contact. She believes that co-sleeping is fundamental to our survival, both emotionally and spiritually. The conversation continues with a discussion on intuition and its connection to wisdom and experience. Dr. Swart explains that intuition is the unconscious knowledge and patterns stored in our nervous system, which can guide decision-making. She suggests that women may be more open to accepting intuition, while men may require scientific explanations to understand it fully. Dr. Swart continues by explaining the brain-body connection and how every part of our body, including our organs and skin, is intimately connected to our brain through nerve cells and pathways. She highlights the constant feedback loop between the brain and the body, emphasizing that they cannot exist without each other. Understanding this connection allows us to tap into our body's signals and better anticipate and manage our health. One aspect of the brain-body connection that Dr. Swart discusses is the impact of stress on our immune system. She explains that chronic stress, which leads to elevated cortisol levels, can weaken our immune system and make us more susceptible to illnesses. 
She shares examples of clients who often fall sick when they go on vacation because their bodies finally have a chance to relax and their immune system becomes compromised. Dr. Swart also addresses the looming crisis that she believes we are currently facing as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. She argues that while we have experienced significant health anxiety, uncertainty, and loss during the pandemic, we have not fully acknowledged or addressed the consequences of these experiences. She emphasizes the need to understand how these experiences have changed us and make plans for the future. One potential outcome of the pandemic that Dr. Swartz suggests is a spiritual revolution. She explains that many people have reconnected with nature and recognized the importance of having a purpose that transcends themselves. She discusses the positive impact of spending time in nature, engaging in creative activities, and appreciating beauty on our mental and physical health. The concept of neuroplasticity is another key topic discussed in the podcast. Dr. Swart explains that neuroplasticity refers to the brain's ability to change and adapt throughout our lives. She emphasizes that our brains are not hardwired and fixed, but rather soft-wired and capable of forming new pathways. This means that we can learn new things, change our habits, and develop new ways of thinking and behaving. Dr. Swart outlines a three-step process for utilizing neuroplasticity to change our behaviors and habits. The first step is to become aware of the patterns and behaviors that are not serving us. The second step is to focus our attention on these patterns and understand the triggers and consequences associated with them. The third step is deliberate practice, where we actively work on changing our behaviors and habits through repetition and reinforcement. The podcast also touches on the topics of generational trauma and intergenerational epigenetic trauma. Dr. Swart explains that generational trauma refers to the psychological spillover of trauma from one generation to another, often affecting marginalized groups. Intergenerational epigenetic trauma, on the other hand, refers to how external events can change the expression of our genes and be passed down through generations. She emphasizes the importance of understanding these concepts and their potential impact on our mental and physical health. Dr. Swart then delves into the mechanisms of neuroplasticity, which refers to the brain's ability to change and adapt. She explains that there are three main factors that impact changes in the brain, myelination, synaptic connections, and neurogenesis. Myelination involves the coding of neural pathways with a fatty substance called myelin, which allows for faster transmission of signals. Synaptic connections occur when existing neurons in the brain connect with each other and form new pathways. Neurogenesis, which is more common in children's brains, involves the development of new nerve cells. She further explains that certain factors contribute to neuroplasticity, such as aerobic exercise and consuming dark-skinned foods. Aerobic exercise helps regulate blood sugar levels and promotes the growth of new neurons. Eating dark-skinned foods, such as black beans, blueberries, and dark chocolate, also contributes to neurogenesis due to their high levels of antioxidants called anthocyanins. Dr. Swart emphasizes the importance of creating the right conditions in the body for neuroplasticity to occur. This includes getting enough sleep, being physically active, eating a balanced diet with a variety of plant-based foods, managing stress, and staying hydrated. She also mentions that time-restricted eating, or intermittent fasting, can be beneficial for the brain if the foundational aspects of health are in place. The conversation then shifts to the topic of manifestation and how our thoughts and beliefs can influence our reality. Dr. Swart explains that manifestation is based on the brain's ability to attract what we want into our lives. She suggests visualizing and feeling gratitude for the things we desire, which helps shift the brain from a fear state to a trust state. The discussion also touches on the concept of neurodiversity, which refers to variations in brain function and behavior. Dr. Swart believes that the rise in diagnoses of conditions like ADHD and autism may be partly due to better diagnostic capabilities. 
She also suggests that these conditions could be adaptations to the rapidly changing world we live in. Dr. Swartz shares an interesting study that demonstrates the impact of mindset on physical abilities. In the study, octogenarians who lived as if they were in their 60s for a week showed improvements in posture and musculoskeletal coordination. Similarly, medical students who were primed with words associated with retirement walked more slowly than those primed with neutral words. The conversation continues with a discussion on personal responsibility and the power of language. Dr. Swart emphasizes the importance of being clear on what we want and visualizing it with gratitude. She also highlights the need to change our language and thoughts to empower ourselves and create positive change. Dr. Swart continues by explaining the concept of stress and its effects on our bodies. She highlights that stress is not always negative and can be beneficial in certain situations. However, Chronic stress can have detrimental effects on our physical and mental health. She emphasizes that stress is not just a mental state but also a physiological response that affects our entire body. One interesting aspect Dr. Swart discusses is how stress can leak through our skin. She explains that our skin is a reflection of our internal state and can reveal signs of stress. For example, stress can cause acne, eczema, or other skin conditions. Dr. Swartz suggests that taking care of our skin can be a way to manage stress and improve our overall well-being. Furthermore, Dr. Swart explores the contagious nature of stress. She explains that stress can be transmitted from one person to another through mirror neurons in our brains. When we observe someone experiencing stress, our brains can mimic their emotions and physiological responses. This phenomenon can lead to a collective stress experience within a group or community. Dr. Swart advises being mindful of the stress levels of those around us and taking steps to protect ourselves from absorbing their stress. Another intriguing topic discussed is the link between stress and belly fat. Dr. Swart explains that stress triggers the release of cortisol, a hormone that can lead to weight gain, particularly in the abdominal area. She suggests that managing stress can be an effective strategy for reducing belly fat. Dr. Swart recommends incorporating stress-reducing activities such as mindfulness, exercise, and adequate sleep into our daily routines. Dr. Swart also emphasizes the importance of self-care and self-compassion in managing stress. She encourages listeners to prioritize their well-being and engage in activities that bring them joy and relaxation. Additionally, she highlights the significance of building resilience to better cope with stress. Dr. Swart suggests practicing gratitude, maintaining social connections, and seeking support when needed. Furthermore, Dr. Swart discusses the impact of technology on stress levels. She acknowledges that while technology has many benefits, it can also contribute to stress and overwhelm. She advises setting boundaries with technology and creating designated tech-free zones or times to promote relaxation and reduce stress. In terms of practical tips, Dr. Swart recommends incorporating mindfulness practices into our daily lives. She suggests starting with simple activities such as mindful breathing or body scans to bring awareness to the present moment and reduce stress. Additionally, she emphasizes the importance of regular exercise, as it can help regulate stress hormones and improve overall well-being. Dr. Swart also touches on the role of nutrition in managing stress. She recommends consuming a balanced diet that includes foods rich in omega-3 fatty acids, antioxidants, and vitamins. These nutrients can support brain health and reduce inflammation, which can be beneficial in managing stress. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe.